So thank you very much for allowing me the opportunity of actually uh, talking about this particular project. Um, this, is a, this is a very special project. It's one of the projects that are called twinning projects. And those are twinning projects are projects that are actually issued by the European Union in order to support uh, other countries right, in some good practices in several areas. One specific area was the university, and I think this is the first or second time in which the European Union actually um, issued and, and, and uh, actually sent a call for one of those training projects. Now, uh, the, the, the name of the project is called Support to the Higher Education System in Morocco as a part of the rapprochement with the European Higher Education Area. What is Morocco actually asking the European Union uh, to help them? What they want to do is to actually transform their university system into a university system of European credits with uh, what, we ca what we call the uh, Bologna processes or, or the Bologna program, so to say. Now, um, in this place when we were going to compete um, in, in Europe, we found ourselves in a very special position because Spain has got their competences in their own commu uh, autonomous communities. So Spain was not going to bid for this project as a nation, it was going to be one of the communities going to do it, and we were going to compete against France as a nation, against Italy, and um, against, uh, against uh, Holland. And uh, to our surprise, they gave the project. They said that Castellón had actually submitted one of the best projects. And I want to thank uh, my José Rodríguez Conde and all her team and Fran, because when I asked them to come and be part of this project, they said yes immediately, without knowing what they had to do. Now, of course, they are probably regretting it. But uh, at the same time, they said yes, and I'm very, very grateful, because one of the most important components of this project is precisely what they are doing here, e-learning and the diversification of teaching. Why is Morocco important for us as Castilla y León and as the University of Salamanca and the other universities, because there are the four universities actually taking place in this project. And um, the, in Morocco is very important because it's one of those northern African countries that are not being developed. They are developing a, a enormous uh, potential in industry because uh, when I went there, when we went there to see what the universities were like, they've got 13, 12, 13 public universities and the rest are private universities. The private universities, they work differently. But the public universities, I went into one classroom, it was a law, uh, it was, I think, I think it was civil law classroom, and there were, there were a thousand students trying to sit on the floors in the window panes um, everywhere. So they've got a good potential of university students who are looking for better teaching. And also because they want to join a little bit the, what the university can offer with employability. And then you might ask me, and is Castillo the best mirror to look at? And I said, well, maybe it's not the best mirror, but it, because of the, maybe the, 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 the production of it, or the result of it, the outcome, but it is a very good mirror, a good practice, because we are working together, and we are trying to see what the failure was in our system in order not to repeat. So this project for us is being very important, because we are actually studying, self-studying ourselves what we did, we did change to Bologna, what well, we did wrong, and we are trying, trying to tell the universities and the Ministry of Education in Morocco, don't do this, it went wrong, we have to do something different. And for us it's been actually something important in order to understand ourselves and understand Morocco. And something else that we're doing here is this multi or interculturality. Working there is being a great challenge, because we've got a different mentality of working. Bureaucracy in Spain is horrible, but in Morocco is hell. And it's something that, of course, being coming from Spain, we can deal with it. We are familiar with it. But at the same time, of course, it's something that we have to work every day with them and have to work together. So it's something that I learned when we went there. So in this project, I am, uh, as I say, the, the leader of the project, what we call an IP, the, uh, or what we call the main researcher, right? of the project, and then we've got some, somebody staying there for two years uh, who comes from the University of Leon. He was the uh, director of international projects in the University of Leon. And now there are the four universities working in this project. We've got six different lines, 
Uh, the first one is how to approach the legislative texts of the Moroccan uh, legislation to uh, legislation very similar to the European one regarding universities. The second one is basically offering, uh, trying to study the different projects they've got there and see what have been the results of those projects, and that is something from the University of Vigo, so we're including people from other universities as well. And the third component is this component that is linked Maria Jose, and is precisely uh, trying to give them another type of uh, teaching, especially using the digital technology, using technology, using e-learning, and, 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 and something that, of course, that uh, they have been producing here in this Instituto uh, in the Youth. So it's a very important uh, experience and expertise that we're going to bring with us there to Salamanca. Well, in fact, I think we are going next week or in two weeks' time, we are going to Morocco. Uh, uh, are you going to Morocco? Uh, by Salamanca, no? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, on the 12th of, 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 of November, they're going to, to, they're going to Morocco and they're going to, to see their reality there. And then the fourth, as the fourth component uh, is led by the Agency for the, quality, uh, the Assurance of Quality uh, from Castilla y León. Uh, the uh, fifth component is from the uh, from the Ministry of Education of Spain, and that for me was absolutely important because they are going to work on something that here has not been solved yet, which is the recognition of diplomas. How are we going to do that? That's a big question because we haven't answered that question yet. What is, uh, for example, you are studying nursing. What is a nurse in Spain? What is a nurse in Germany? It's completely different because. Something is university, something is training vocational programs. It, it, it's very difficult to see exactly, even within Europe, how to recognize. I'm learning a lot, so I'm very glad that this, this uh, project is giving us the opportunity of learning that as well and applying it to our universities. The fifth component, uh, uh, this is the fifth component, sorry, and the sixth component, the last one, uh, is uh, also led by the University of Leon because there is the foundation of the, uh, of the supercomputing uh, center. And what they're going to do there is try to they're going to try and help them to build a, a system of information, uh, of course, um, that is valid for all universities and all the systems in, in the Ministry of Education of, of Morocco. So that is basically, uh, I don't want to go into much detail, I think that is basically what I wanted to tell you, that is an important project that I really want to thank Marie Jose and her team because they are going to work with us and is uh, uh, in this process although it's a peer-to-peer -peer situation because you go there and you work with them for one week and then they come here to see how we work here. And for example, the, uh, the people from the Ministry of Education are coming to Spain on the 14th of November, uh, 14th, 15th and 16th of November. They're going to come here you know, to see how we have everything organized, how our competences are uh, a little bit decentralized and how we work together with the central government. Uh, so we have to teach our best face. Uh, and, and we will try to do it. But I think that's an important uh, instrument that we're going to see. And uh, because we didn't have enough, uh, next week I'm going to go so with the uh, Minister of Education of Castilla León to defend another project, very similar, but we are going to go to Algeria. And uh, if we are lucky, we will have two projects there in the north of, 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 uh, of Africa. We went to defend a project very similar in Bosnia-Herzegovina, but there the French took it. And uh, we, 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 uh, we were second, but we are very, very happy to be able to uh, take our experience there and to feel that we can learn and we can teach something. So thank you very much for allowing me this time.